Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my friend Micah Wright, who I've known for years, was an American who moved to Japan. He's an automotive journalist. He hit me up recently to do some coverage for the Tokyo Auto Salon. Yeah, I had no idea what that was either. <laughs> but apparently it's a SEMA of Japan, raising really cruel concepts and things, and things they built off-roading trucks, off-roading SUVs, lowered trucks and stuff. Anyways, I've been watching all the footage and put it together into two different videos for you, day one, day two. So. If you're into really interesting stuff, stuff you can't see like on the American roads, stuff in Japan, it's really cool stuff. So go ahead and pop the top, grab a cold one, get a little popcorn, whatever. Sit back and relax. This is uh, quite entertaining footage. And oh, this is the first time really doing video for me. So a little bit of a learning curve with the video, but really entertaining and really interesting. So let's go ahead and get to that. Micah Wright here coming to you live from Tokyo Auto Salon 2022. And I am happy to be here. And yes, it is me. I am not a ninja. Everyone thinks I've been turned into one, but no, I am not. Not yet. Um, so we're thrilled that this is actually happening because a lot of people didn't think it would happen this year, but it is the 40th anniversary, like I said, and it is going to be nuts. It, today's media day, and it's been kind of a slow burn. Not as many people as I thought it would be, but the cars are fantastic. And it really is the SEMA of Japan. So if you like custom vehicles, hardcore off-road trucks, interesting SUVs, all the overlanding fun one can imagine, well, this is going to be uh, your video to watch. So let's get started. Let's uh, go for a, what do you think? Eh, let's give it a top 10 hardcore, insane Japanese off-road vehicles. Let's do this. Whoop. So we're going to start things off with the guys that actually I rode up here with. This is Outclass Cars, uh, one of their Jiminy's. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Suzuki Jiminy, know that this is the quintessential modern version of the Suzuki Samurai. We can't get it in America anymore though, sorry folks. But yeah, this thing's pretty gnarly all around. If I uh, obviously modded the ever-loving hell out of it and um, Everything on it, for the most part, is their own in-house creation. These guys are arguably the best in the biz when it comes to Suzuki's. And this one is probably, yeah, it's probably their flagship. They've got a couple others that are really cool, but man, the suspension on this thing is just bonkers. And these uh, dampers and springs um, on them are something that they uh, actually have manufactured exclusively for them. And I'll have to get you guys uh, information on the, uh, in the, in the uh, uh, description below for exactly who manufactures them. But it's uh, under the name Suzuki Complete. I want to say it's Swift Springs, but I could be wrong. Let's see. They, uh, they work with Toyo Tires, it's one of their big sponsors, so they, they rock a whole bunch of open countries on their, on their Jeeps mostly, or Jeeps, <laughs> Japanese Jeeps is what I meant to say. Um, but it's small, it's a two-door, but I fit, and um, my friends fit too, uh, up front. So, and I'm six, I'm six foot flat, so if that tells you anything. If I can sit in the back seat and still have plenty of room and have another six foot person in front of me, really does tell you how much space these things have even though they're tiny but yeah this guy's this, this, this thing's badass it's just that simple custom bumper yeah all rhino lined and this is new for tokyo auto salon they were just hooking this up the other day this is their new snorkel that they've engineered I like the honeycomb mesh look on it too. That's pretty cool. And this is, these side steps are our greatest little sliders too, just in case things get dicey on the trail. Japan's got excellent off-road trails. Um, a lot of people don't think of Japan, they think of off-roading, but man, it's all mountains. Unless you're in Tokyo or down on the coastline, it's very mountainous country. Look at the roof. Their custom roof rack. We'll, we'll see uh, we'll ask, uh, a little later. See if we can get inside. They're in their meeting right now, so get back to it. So let's see what else we got out there. 
the adventure continue. This guy's right next to us. This is not an SUV. It's actually a minivan. It's a hybrid Toyota. And it's, it's a little off-road options attached to it. Hello. hello. Say hello, America. <laughs> ah, here it is. This one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, so this is what we're working on next. We're going to cover this guy. Um, this is, uh, <laughs> this thing's bonkers in every way. We, you know, it's just, this, this is just fun. It's so much fun, actually. Um, a little on the top heavy side, but um, we'll get into the details here in a minute. What we're working with is actually a Mitsubishi, even though it does say Jeep on it. Um, we'll get the whole inside scoop on that in a minute, but yeah, it's back when there were more collabs to keep things functioning. They kept that whole Willys Jeep thing going, and this is what happened. But this thing's bonkers. And it is, it looks like it is boosted if memory serves. Yep, hey, look at that little tiny snail. Look at the little guy, he's so cute. Wow. I'll have to get engine specs on this here in a second. Looks like, yeah, it's your standard four cylinder. Let's go see if we can find a spec sheet on it here in a minute. Oh, and it's got the truck mirrors, that's right. I love having some truck mirrors for visibility. <laughs> and it, yeah, and it is a stick in true fashion. I like how they integrated the speakers. This thing's clean. Huh. The Kadan. The Jeep Kadan. And they are rocking double sided struts in the back. Of course, all poly bushings. I wonder what they did for leaf springs. These don't look original, of course. All the shackles are extended as well. Nice little tow hook in the back. That thing's a beast, actually. I have to get you uh, one of these there, Tim. Get you one of these Mitsubishi tow hooks. I love the taillights on these things. Absolutely awesome. What a fun build. Yeah, white and brown. This really works. One more, peek, one more peek at the engine. Speaking of pickup trucks, how's this for a gooseneck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so by now pretty much everyone's familiar with the Garanda Wagon or the G Wagon, the G Series, so yada yada yada. Well, how about a Suzuki Series? If this doesn't look like a miniature G-Wagon, I don't know what does. Man, they replicated almost everything on it to a T. Tail lights included. <laughs> Very fun. Yeah, it's also fun. Miniature gooseneck trailer. Has air brakes, looks like. Yeah. Oh.
This is a Daihatsu midget too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the midget. I love it. Easily one of the best names ever for a car. And they turned it into a trailer truck. Outstanding. This is fun. This is a thumbs up. These guys give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. Amazing. One of the most fascinating things about this little guy. Ah, they've got a little video of how they built it. Look at the tiny rear diff. It's so little. It's like the cutest little thing I've ever seen. It's tiny. Seriously, like, yeah. Tires don't even come up to my knee. They went with dualies in the back, so that's mad props to them for that. Oh, and they got the Japanese traditional bubble shifter. Like, there's no room, by the way. There's no room for a passenger now that the shifter's here. In uh, traditional midgets, they would have like a little jump seat almost uh, looking thing over there, and you know, that'll eliminate that. Let's go look on the other side. So you got the fuel cell. <laughs> dope. Ah, dope, dope, dope. All right, we're revisiting this guy because they've got the doors open today. They didn't have them open yesterday. The four-door Jiminy. Yeah, man, the exoskeleton on it is great. Uh, yes. Very, very cool. Really long brake line. That <laughs> stainless line. Wow. Now that they got it open, let's try to take a peek inside of the four door Jiminy. The only four-door Jiminy that I've ever seen. I mean, I wonder how many man hours went into building this thing. It appears to be pretty seamless. Like you've got a little bit of a gap there. It's not lining up exact, but hey, water doesn't get in. When it rains, you're golden. Everyone's getting pictures of Tow Mater. <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's see if we can get some interior shots from the other side. Oh, yeah, here he is. He's programming. I see, I see, I see, I see. So it looks like they've got FRP, so fiber reinforced plastic. It's like, um, and then just some, I mean, yeah, it's definitely not finished. Door, the door cards for sure are not finished, but it's getting there. 
They were able to retain the stock seats. He has definitely some interior work needs to be done on this thing. But hey, I bet they were rushing to make make it to um, make it here just like we do to SEMA in America. So you know they were pulling a lot of all-nighters on this beast. Pretty long ladder. <laughs> very, very fun. Oh, he got the sound system working. That's what he was working on in there. <laughs> it's about to go down. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a fave from Tokyo Auto Salon. What the hell is that? I gotta give this Jiminy an honorable mention. It's, I, I, man, that kind of chalky forest green, hunter green, it's awesome. And I love the white bumper. This is, this is a really fun modern Jiminy, but with a great throwback feel to it. It's, they did a really nice job with the retro styling on this thing. It's so clean, modestly built. Let's see if it's a stick. Ah, it's a slush box. Still not a bad transmission. Oh, this is this doesn't have the navigation or anything. So this is this is actually a lower model, uh, lower grade. It's all right. Let's take a peek in the back. See if they do anything. Oh, they got the cooler and the camping gear. A rear step. Yeah, this thing's clean. Oh, that's right. This is the one that has the auto rubies. Hmm. A little bit of a, a little bit of a fuel cap cover. I, I don't know if I've seen a transparent fuel cap cover on a Jiminy before. Good old acrylic. Cool. Classy. All right, something else a little on the crazy side. This guy. You don't see rock crawlers in Japan very often at car shows, or rock crawling for that matter. Suzuki Jiminy. Older gen. Completely refabricated though, because yeah, it is. Yeah, Suzuki Jiminy. in this most sparkly fairy dust final wrap you can imagine <laughs> it's really fun wild man wild hydraulics galore Fun to see some with articulating rear wheels. Four wheel steering for the wind. Okay, moving right along to what I consider to be one of the coolest cars I have ever seen in my entire life that is designed for going off road to an extent. He's not that high off the ground, but he's definitely getting there. The little guy, too, he's a baby. KG Motors. And excuse me if there's background music, we've got girls in containers dancing in the background at the next booth. So, um, let me see here. Hey, what do we got down here? What the hell is it? Is it an electrical drive? Dinky. Dinky. Electric motor. An electric motor. This guy's putting an electric motor on it. And what about Furi Honda? Alright, so this guy has completely built it. I thought it was uh I thought it was an old Honda or something, but this entire body and everything these guys built from scratch. 
Very cool. <laughs> Roof rack too and everything, man. Gnarly, gnarly. It's like, yeah, it's like, eh? Like, Furui Honda, me tai, eh? It's just body, eh? Like, Furui Honda delivery car, eh? Eh, Gotsu. Gotsu. Eh. Sugi. Are you seeing this one? Are you broadcasting? Are we broadcasting? No, 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 I'm not broadcasting. GK. Uh, I, I saw a round two, right? <laughs> yeah. This is cool, though, man. These guys. These guys built this thing from scratch. How fucking cool. The T Box prototype. Integrated LED tail lamps. This is adorable little roof rack. Looks like they got plexi windows. Some form of composite. <laughs> Muddy boots. <laughs> Look at those grappling gear and whatnot. Repelling ropes. They use this thing too, fuel cell. Looks like an extra backup tank of fuel because God knows this tank's gonna be tiny. So it's electric hybrid on it. Yeah. Uh, 100% electric? 100% electric? Denki dake? Oh! So no, 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 not hybrid. This is a, okay, so. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, this is amazing. All right, so we have two RAV4s. Two RAV4s to take a look at today. Definitely adding these to my JDM Hardcore 4x4 SUV and truck coverage from Tokyo Auto Salon 2022. And I like, actually I like this a lot as well. I'm not so crazy about some of the final touches on it, but the beast of a guard up front. Recovery hooks, fogs. I like the I like the um, grill integrated running lights. That's a nice touch. It also rocks the old school Toyota badging. Yeah, I love the old school Toyota grill badge. I'm glad they kept it all these years. There's your industry spotlights. Cargo rack, long haul gasoline container. I don't know how long that'll get you, but it's, an, it's enough to give it, put a dash in your tank. Oh yeah, and this one, this one has the, this one has a shovel. <laughs> and a ladder for the roof rack. Oh, trailer hitch too. It's a tow package. Exhaust. Over fender flares, lift, and those are open countries. Okay, so they're rocking Toyos. So I thought they'd be running Geolanders. Over here, these are Monsta, Monsta Warrior tires. Not sure if you get Monsta in America, but you get them here. And this one, it's twin brother. This one here has a very interesting configuration. And then how it's spare tire affixes to the trailer hitch and candy levers out. I like the ladder a lot more on this one too, even though it is, yeah, it's, it looks like it's an Allen wrench bolt-in affair, but I like the you know, trapezoidal shape of it uh, a lot more. It's pretty cool, gnarly looking. This one also has these, I don't know if these come from the factory or not, like there's an option, but yeah. Rear C pillar covers. I see, and it just bolts right in right there. Looks like, oh, I don't know if that's an axle back exhaust or what. All right, there you go. There's the coverage from Japan. I'll link the videos together. So if you're looking at part one or part two, I'll try to link them together so you can see either one. Uh, again, I just thought it was really fascinating. Put your comments down below. What do you guys think? You guys enjoy this kind of stuff? Do you guys want to see some Japanese off-roading? I kind of think I do. But hey, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'll check this video out of your website down below. Like I said, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.